to today's broadcast, we want to talk about the unseen realm. That is the unseen dimension of the kingdom of God. And I remember one time my grandson coming to me, he was on the phone. He said, Grandma, do you know that just because things are invisible doesn't mean they're not real? And he was wow. talking about God, <laughs> that even though God is invisible, he's so real. Yeah. And uh, that's what we want to talk to you about is the things that are out here to bless you in God that you might not be able to see with your natural vision, but they are there and they're for you. And so with me, I have great friends uh, whom I love dearly. We have Pastor uh, James and Mary Baker from Ohio. I'm actually going to be with you guys shortly for the Unseen Conference. Yes. And so I'm really excited about that, where you're going to open it up for everyone who attends to be equipped and empowered in the supernatural in the unseen dimension. So welcome. Wonderful yeah, yeah. To have you. So glad to be here. So honored <laughs> to be uh, doing this with you. This is great. Yeah. yeah. So uh, James and Mary, I want to ask you, first of all, like um, what introduced you to the unseen dimension of the kingdom of God? Mm. Wow. I think we, we grew up in a uh, denomination that kind of had it in its theology, but not really in its practice. And so mm -hmm. that was kind of discouraging. You know, it's like you, you, you talk about healing, but nobody ever gets healed, right? And so you talk about hearing God's voice, but you're never equipped on how to do it. And so I'm not necessarily blaming what we grew up in. I mean, maybe we, we didn't respond well to it. But I think um, what really opened me up, her, Mary's always been more mystical. So I'll let her, uh, her you know, but my wiring was was not more mystical, uh, more pharisaical and, more <laughs> and natural, <laughs> natural born Pharisee. And um, I think for me, uh, the first thing that opened me up was seeing uh, Michael Brown at the Brownsville Revival, seeing someone who had a PhD, was fluent in many Semitic languages, brilliant theologian, um, being so childlike in worship. And I just I hadn't, I hadn't seen that level. And then he was also a prophet and he taught in hearing God's voice as well as deep theology. And I thought, man, there's a way to do both. Mm -hmm. And there was something in my heart that just hungered for that. And I remember at that conference, I had an encounter. And, uh, you know, the one thing that, that the common denominator of every person who's ever changed uh, world history is they had an encounter with God, anyone who's uh, done it for the Lord. And so uh, we're huge about encounters. Um, but also, so anyway, so I'm, I had an encounter at Brownsville where I don't know how else to describe it, but the fear of the Lord came upon me. And so I'm on my face, all, all my pride, all my pharisaical pride. I'm learning these things from seminary in Greek and Hebrew. And I found that the Lord didn't really care about that. He wanted my heart. <laughs> And so I'm on my face and I didn't think God was going to kill me, but I was scared to death. And I'm on my face, afraid to look up. And uh, it just really changed me. And I realized there's more to it than just what's in my head. There's more to it than just, you know, book knowledge and commentaries. I needed I need the Lord. So that was something that really was one of those watershed moments for me. Wow. I love it. What about you, Mary? I don't know. I, I feel like it's always just been a normal part of life for me. But like Jim said, we, we grew up in, you know, the Assemblies of God. And... Well, talk about the home you grew up in, though. Yeah. So her parents are both mystics. And so. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, like, just like being in a church who believes in the gifts, I think that they didn't really teach you how to flow in that unseen realm. It was just kind of it was just kind of done. You know what I mean? And so that's kind of my heart really for, for putting together this conference is because people, I feel like, I feel like we just assume people know things that they don't know because right. we just do what we do, you know? And it, it isn't until somebody puts words to it that actually marries the two together with intentionality mm -hmm. and, and enables us to really move in the unseen realm with Jesus, realizing our oneness with him and um, bringing heaven to earth uh, as the mandate on our life, you know. But yeah, I did grow up in a home where um, my mom and dad were kind of the outskirt people of, uh, you know, the weirdos of the church that, you know, nobody really wanted to be super close friends with until they were sick or dying or needed deliverance. And then they would go to my parents. So I got to see a lot of wild stuff in my home. And, uh, but like I said, it was just kind of normal to me. Like I, it was just normal. Wow. And so awesome. Awesome. And I know that for, for me, 
one encounter just makes me hungry for the next one. Mm -hmm. It says, taste and see that the Lord is good, right? Mm -hmm. And he's so sneaky because he knows that <laughs> one piece of his goodness will just addict you for him for oh, eternity. Sure. But he's an eternal, invisible God. And so, like, he's all around us. And a lot of times I find people are striving to try to have encounter with God mm -hmm. uh, when they could just actually just acknowledge him and right. then enter in. Right. Yes. Way to put it. Yeah. And so as ministers, I know that we all share the same desire for our people that everyone encounters mm -hmm. the, the true and the living God. And he is eternal and he is invisible and he is the all wise God. And he is available to each and every one of you that are watching mm -hmm. and um we just want to we just want to see your your hunger for god satisfied and so tell us what we can expect um at the conference and um obviously not everyone's going to be able to go to ohio uh to be on site <laughs> although i sure hope we'll see a lot of you there That's but right. um but if you can't make it we have an online option as well right mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it's uh, the conference is October um, 12th through 14th. Yeah, sorry, I just, my mind went blank. But yeah, I mean, our heart really is for people to, to create an environment where people, There's, I mean, there's a lot of people who feel like they're encounter impaired, mm -hmm. right? And so we want to really equip your head, your heart, and your hands to be able to, I mean, literally the good news is the kingdom of God is at hand. There's this invisible realm. Maybe the unseen realm is maybe not the best language, but the biblical language is the kingdom of God is at hand. It's within reach. It's as close right. as the air that you breathe. And so that's right. that, that's the good news in, uh, is that we get to interact with the king and his kingdom. And so we yeah. want to equip people's head, heart, and hands to be able to, to move in this. And so uh, we start with a blank sheet of paper. We say, listen, if we could have the best equippers on the planet for this, who would it be? And so um, Patricia, Patricia, king. Patricia King came out <laughs> first, and then Dan McCollum, and then Bill Vanderbush. Mm -hmm. And I told Mary, so I said, I didn't have much faith. I said, babe, there's no way those three are going to be able to come. Their schedules will never work out. We're not giving them enough notice. And I think within like 48 hours, everyone was like, I'm in. And so um, <laughs> we really feel like it's a, it's, it's a God thing. Yeah. And, uh, and people, we need more than just what we can mm -hmm. see, taste, hear, smell, or feel. Literally, the definition of a carnal Christian isn't necessarily someone who's living sinful. They're just living out of their five senses. They're, right. they're, uh, they're, they're, they're saved and they're going to heaven, but they're not living with any power. And so we really right. want to equip people to be able mm -hmm. to live out the good news. Right. Yeah. And, and, and for it to be normal. You know, right. I think like even even the name, the Unseen Realm Equipping Conference people, I had a couple of people like, oh, I'm not going. That sounds too new agey. <laughs> which I'm sure in your line of work, Patricia, you've probably gotten that line once before, or twice, right? probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we just want to make it normal, you know, to operate out of God's kingdom. Yeah. And people don't often realize that it's the devil who's the counterfeit, not God. So like right. it all began with God. And if there's anything that the devil's counterfeiting is because the enemy learned it while he was with God right. and is using it for evil purposes. And so often Christians push back on the truth because they see a counterfeit. Right. And so we want to help believers overcome those kind of mindsets and just go for everything. Can you imagine what it would be like if we had a whole company of Elijah's in our midst, right? Amazing. In this day and age, or a whole company of Ezekiel's and a whole, you know, company of John the Baptist and everything that the early apostles did, that the whole mm -hmm. body was immersed in, in, in all of who God is and all that he offers. And, you know, he's worthy to receive what he yeah. died for, right? Right. And so we are all hoping, as those who are serving in this conference, we're really believing that it's going to just get you all filled who come. And uh, we put a, um, a link up there for you so that you can click on it and uh, find out more information and get registered for it because we're, we're very excited about um, just having the opportunity to equip all of you. And um, uh, James and Mary, you've been pastors for, well, forever, it seems, right? <laughs> you've been at this as church. As, as long as I've known you, you've been pastors of a great church, by the way. 
And um, so, so you know, as pastors, the things that believers deal with and the things that they need to overcome. And one of the things that I've found is that once people understand what's available to them, what they have access to with the promises of God that are sitting there in the unseen dimension, that when they learn how to access them and pull them into a place of manifestation, it changes their whole world. It changes yeah. the way they live, yeah. you know, so... Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you move from being a pauper, you know, a lot of people, it's like the kids with their nose pressed against mm -hmm. the window watching the, the, you know, the super Christians do it and they don't realize. So a lot of Christians are trying to be supernatural, but you're already are supernatural. Right. You've right. got, yeah. God loves you so much. He sent the Holy Spirit to personally mentor you into your destiny. He's living mm -hmm. inside of you. And so, yeah, right. well, I mean, I, I think we make it too complicated sometimes. I love what you said. So, so people true. seeing what's available, believe and receive. I mean, it's really, right. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's that's it, about it. <laughs> so Right. And a lot of times people are afraid of the supernatural because they've seen people act a little bit strange sometimes. Like, you know, and I always tell people, you know, there's always a pure stream that comes from the very presence of God. But on each side of the pure stream, there's some excesses, right? There's, I call them extremes, right? And yeah. so there, there could be the religious extreme that judges everything and doesn't want to have anything to do with it, uh, just judges it. But then you have the other one that just goes off in the flesh and, you know, just directs it out of their own uh, carnal initiation. Yeah. And so that's another thing that we're going to be teaching, um, that you stay right on, right on track with God, follow him. And then it's just so, so beautiful. So that's going to be, again, the dates are October 12th to, to 14th. And you can register at zionequip.com. But we put the actual link in the comment section for you. Would and love then Patricia will be speaking at the church on Sunday the 15th as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking well. forward to that. I'm yeah. just looking forward to hanging out with all of you that come. And especially uh, you, you two and and Dan and everyone who's going to be there. It is going to be so much fun mm -hmm. hanging with Jesus, getting empowered and uh, getting truth imparted. So thank you so much for hosting it. And thank oh, we're you. Super so excited. Much for and I know that uh, Dan and Bill are not coming to hang out with us. They're coming to hang out with you. <laughs> and so they're oh. very they're <laughs> excited to hang out with you. And so uh, we're all just one big family that love each other. Fun. So it's going to yeah. be wonderful. Okay. So is there anything in closing that you'd like to uh, pray for our people in or release impartation or anything? I think I just want to uh, amen your word uh, that I have, I have a friend who says for every perversion, there's a pure version. Mm -hmm. And I think oh, that's, that's, so that's, what, that's what we're going after. And so, you know, I think the charismatic movement, some people are afraid of the nuts and the flakes and the this and that. And it's yeah. like, listen, we're all trying. We're all, we're all, there, there, there's okay. a pure version of this. People are growing in it. And so uh, I, I, that's what we're going to be about. Yeah. So I, I love actually, we might even do a whole session on how not to be a, 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 a nut, a flake and a weirdo, maybe. You know what? We, we could use some how-tos on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, God is on the move, and I know that all of you are going to want to move with him. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in this day and age. Yeah. We need supernatural ability. We need supernatural power. And we need that that's be, to, to, to be infused with his supernatural love and presence. And mm -hmm. so, Lord, as we just finish up right now, we just want to release your blessing over your precious people, nice. your hungry people who are hungry for you and all that you have for them, Lord God. And we ask, Father, that even, even right now, as they're listening to this, that they will have encounter, that they'll become aware of your goodness, of your presence, of your blessings, of your promise, of your love in a brand new way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And hey, while we're on this, I want to also say, um, and this is really big on, on my heart and and both of you, I, I know, um, obviously, but we've got um, the Wealth with God uh, event coming up. It's an online event on October the 3rd. That's coming up real soon. That's next week, I believe, right? It is, and, yeah. Um, and it's it is ab absolutely free. Um but let me share my burden with you. I have been speaking to so many Christians 
that have a negative perspective about what is coming, especially in the area of provision. And it's like, it, it's like I'm thinking, what? Why are you believing what is so contrary to the word of God? And we have a passion to equip you and to position you for the best years of your life, for the most abundant years of your life. Jesus said, I came that you would have life in its abundance. He didn't say, I, I came to give you life in its leanness, right? Or right, right. Give, come to give you a, a life filled with poverty. And so I really um, know what God wants to do in these hours. He wants to bless his people with abundance. He wants us to make a mark for him in the world. Many millionaires, billionaires, people with absolute um, just absolute abundance are going to be raised up in this hour for his glory and for his purposes. And so we want to help position you for that. So we're offering you a free webinar called uh, Wealth with God next um, October or ne ne next week. That's October the 3rd. We're doing, going to do one in the morning, one at night. And uh, James is going to be teaching on that. Um, I'll be there. A number of our friends are going to be there as well. A whole slew of ministers who believe the very same thing. We're going to release impartation, have a Q&A. It's going to be uh, a lot of engagement and that. But we want to give this to you as a gift. And out in the world, I know, James, because I've been invited to these types of webinars with similar um, content, but from a secular point of view instead right. of a divine point of view. Right. And they charge like $10,000 plus plus for, for yeah. the same thing. And so we're giving it for free because we want to see you empowered. So mm -hmm. please sign up for it. And I'm going to have Marcella put the wealth uh, with God webinar, um, sign up there. It's mm -hmm. on the comment section. There it is mm -hmm. right there. So we'll have that pinned to the top maybe for you. And uh, just click on that. Tell your friends about it. It is um, on Zoom, like it's interactive. And so I think there's a limit to how many we can have. So make sure that you register right away. Mm -hmm. um, we really want you to have this. And, uh, and it's an honor to be able to to just bless you, empower you, invigorate you, build your faith for it, position you for all the good things that God has for his people. And we know that people have sat under this uh, teaching and, and the word of God that is being represented have just soared into new places of release and freedom. So we definitely want you there. So it's going to be in the morning and at night. And also if you register for it, but you cannot be live, uh, you can watch it on demand after, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you'll have the link that you can watch it on. And uh, do we just want to make sure that you get it and enjoy it and, and get positioned for what's ahead. So hey, I just, I just want to real quick, just call it the baby boomers that, yes. you know, or the people who have retired and they feel like I have no purpose in life. You know, I, I just, you know, there's nothing there. Or maybe you feel like, man, I'm about to retire and I have no money. Like, what am I going to do? And you're kind of being led by fear right now. I just want to say this call is for you. <laughs> um, this, this wealth with God on, um, what is it? The fourth or the third, whatever she just said. October 3rd, <laughs> yeah, yeah, October 3rd, Tuesday. October the 3rd, yeah. Yeah. Tuesday. On Tuesday, come because it is not over for you. Like you come to this call, you're going to leave with more hope than, mm -hmm. than what you started with. And so I just want to call you guys forth. Like it, it is not too late. It is not too late for you. It's yeah, so and, good, Mary. <laughs> and, tr and true hope is uh, biblical optimism, right? Yes. It's not hope mm -hmm. just like, Hey, trying to pump you up. It's rooted in something. It's rooted mm -hmm. in the character yeah. of God. And so and uh, also the word says, the word says your latter glory and the word glory there in the context of that scripture is all about wealth. It's mm -hmm. about gold and silver. And it says the latter glory of the house will be greater than the former. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means that you can have a, a hope, an expectation yeah. of great things to come. Why? Because God's supernatural. We mm -hmm. don't have to depend on the natural. We don't have to be confined by the natural because right. we serve a supernatural God. That's right. And we know this in our own experience. Mm -hmm. We yeah. want to pass it on to you so that you can enjoy it all for free. Yep. So the number the number one age group right now starting businesses in the United States is age 55 to 64. Mm -hmm. The second uh, wow. biggest is age 65 to 75. Wow. So I, mean, I think a lot of people think it's the, it's the young people, but mm -hmm. I think it's something that God's doing. It's like people, they've had these experiences. They've had this history with the Lord. 
And now it's time for them to partner with God and bring these ideas to solve problems for the planet, attract wealth for the kingdom. And yeah, that'd be yeah. good. Yeah. I think it was Cheon. I was out on an outreach with him recently. And he was saying um, that uh, according to recent statistics, the most fruitful years, the most productive years right now, according to statistics, are between 65 and 75. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people have a mentality that you'd wind down then, but the statistics are saying otherwise. And so true. God we know says otherwise, right? Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. refirement yeah. instead of retirement, That's right? right? Yeah, Exactly. It's so good. Well, thank you so much, James and Mary, for joining yeah. us today. And yeah, thanks, thanks to Patricia. all of you for joining us. And if you think this would help uh, some friends of yours, pass it on and uh, subscribe to the social media uh, channels that you're on. And uh, because we want to just keep giving you more and more and more. When we get it from the Lord, we're going to pass it on to you because we love giving what he gives to us. So God bless you. And remember this, that God loves you with an everlasting love. He really, really does. So go and share that love around today. God bless.